Roberto Vittori, an Italian member of the European Astronaut Corps, is about to make his third flight to the International Space Station. As a mission specialist, he'll be launched on board the Space Shuttle Endeavour along with five NASA astronauts to begin this 12-day expedition into orbit. Vittori's previous flights to the ISS have been on board the Russian Soyuz capsule, a three-man vessel which is launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The space station has grown substantially since his last visit in 2005, and the upcoming mission will bring a wealth of new experiences, including his first flight on board the legendary space shuttle. It's taken many weeks of intensive training at NASA's Kennedy Space Center to become familiarized with the nuances of this hugely complex machine. Obviously, the Soyuz is a completely different uh, spacecraft. It's uh, much smaller and uh, it operates quite differently, but uh, the approach is, uh, is the same. The Russians show the crew in advance the Soyuz that they will use to fly a few weeks before the launch and the uh, procedures in this sense are very much similar. Obviously, Soyuz and Shuttle are two completely different uh, spaceships. For Roberto Vittori, the upcoming mission will include a whole host of technical procedures, drawing on both his previous experience in space and his background as a test pilot and physicist. During the mission, the Space Shuttle Endeavour will deliver the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, known as AMS-2, to the ISS, a seven-ton piece of highly sophisticated hardware with the ability to probe the edges of the expanding universe. As part of his responsibilities, Vittori will play a key role in attaching this to the station's truss. During the mission, the STS-134 will be MS-2, means that I will be helping uh, pilot and commander during ascent and re-entry. And uh, while on orbit, uh, one of my primary tasks will be to operate the shuttle robotic arm to take AMS to the station. This flight will be especially significant for both ESA and NASA. It will be the 134th space shuttle flight and the 25th and final flight of Endeavour, the latest orbiter to have been built. It may in fact be the last shuttle flight ever, as after three decades of service, the time has come for this pioneering spacecraft to retire. Shuttle Atlantis will remain in service as an emergency vehicle throughout the duration of Vittori's mission, and may fly once more this year, but it too will shortly be decommissioned. Each mission is unique, our space flight will be unique, will bring to space, uh, AMS will bring to space experiments of the Italian Space Agency, European Space Agency and obviously NASA. So that's the, our prime concentration. But uh, on top of it, obviously we are aware that this may be the last, uh, last shuttle flight and uh, in a way it's a pity to see such a beautiful machine uh, about to retire. As test procedures begin at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, Roberto Vittori is now finalizing his preparations for this challenging mission. Already a veteran of spaceflight, he's about to become the second Italian to have flown on both Soyuz and the space shuttle. From, from on board here, the ISS, he'll world, be meeting up with Paolo Nespoli, Earth, another ESA and, uh, astronaut from Italy. Down and locked. As part of a bilateral agreement between NASA and the Italian Space Agency, the upcoming shuttle mission will be another valuable flight opportunity for Europe. And, more poignantly, the last chance for a European to fly on board this iconic spacecraft. <laughs>